good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and I'm just having a lazy day today, and I was thinking of some of you, and I believe the Lord put someone out there on my heart who's having a hard time of it, a hard time getting up out of that bed, getting up out from underneath that comforter. Well, just let me remind you that the Holy Spirit is your comforter, and there isn't anything that He doesn't want to help you to accomplish. He will go with you, He'll be with you, and whatever you're doing, and whatever way you're seeking to please Him. And so if you're just having a hard time today or lately, why don't you do something that will lift your own spirits instead of focusing on others and focusing on that man, that husband that you've been praying and travailing about. Okay, try doing something for yourself, something special. And the Bible says that Jesus loves us as he loves the church and he loves his and as he loves his own body. So you want to make sure that you're loving your own body, that you're loving your own self in your quest to please God, in your quest to please others. You sometimes have to put yourself first. So if you're having trouble taking care of yourself, why don't you make something pretty? And I got this little tray together and I'm gonna hold each item up separately. I think it might be easier for me. But you can get simple, basic things like a seashell. Get a nice seashell and fill it up with some cotton balls. I didn't have any cotton balls, so I used cotton pellets. Okay, and just make it fancy. Put it in your bathroom or in your dressing room area. Get your favorite perfume. Mine happens to be Jessica McClintock, and that's probably out of the 70s. But I've loved this perfume for years and years. It's still my favorite. I have a really nice little crystal container where I put my jewel hairpins. And I like, I just love these jewel hairpins. And so you can make up a tray. And I found this brass tray especially for you. And you can put your favorite things on this tray and just put them out in your dressing area. You don't have to make it a permanent fixture. Just sometimes you want to do something special where you can put all of your favorite things out and you can see your favorite things and they'll remind you of just how special you really are. Okay, and talking about favorite things, I brought my favorite movie with me. Those who know me personally, they know that my absolute favorite movie is Pride and Prejudice, and it's the version with Colin Firth. I can watch this movie over and over and over again. And of course, we all know one of my favorite people in this world is Sonal Mascarelli. Can you see that? This is her packaging that she uses, and I like to use it as a clutch or as just something that I can put my lingerie in when I travel. It has many uses, many purposes. You can put papers in here or just about anything that, that you can think of will fit in there. And it's especially nice. And that reminds me, I need to thank Sonal once again, as always, and her subscribers for joining with me and helping me to feed the hungry and clothe the naked throughout the world. Thank you so much. And you're always on my mind. And you are Team So Now, and thank you, thank you, thank you. Continuing on with some of my favorite things, I know I made a video before about my favorite things, but somehow that video was deleted, so I thought I'd do it over for you. One of my favorite spritzers, facial toners, is this Andalou. It's a rose uh, floral toner, and you just spritz it, and such a refreshing feel throughout the day. You can just leave it in your uh, glove compartment in your car and just throughout the day just spritz your face. Shea Moisture 100% Virgin Coconut Oil Daily Hydration Body Lotion. As soon as I get out of the bath or the shower, I like putting this, this on and just splashing it on all over whether, well sometimes I may use an oil, uh, essential oils combined with a jojoba oil or sometimes I'll just slather that on if, if I'm Kind of in a hurry. Also concerning that tray, if you don't want to put 
uh, there's many things, there's many items on it than I did. You can just put some of your favorite hair clips on there. I have these jeweled hair clips that I absolutely love, and I get so many compliments from these. They these come in silver, uh, black, and gold. I didn't bring the gold one with me, but I get so many compliments when I use those. And my favorite leave-in hair conditioner, believe it or not, is Shea Moisture Strengthen and Restore Leave-In Conditioner. I love Shea Moisture products. And after I do my uh, rice water treatments, I don't rinse my rice water out. I leave it in. And it makes your hair a little bit bristly if you don't add oil to it when you're spritzing it. I just started using an oil in the rice water so it's not quite as bristly, but I still leave this uh, leave-in conditioner in. It makes your hair really soft, smooth, and silky. Also, this another of my favorites of the Shea Moisture line is the Sugarcane Extract and Metal Foam Seed Silicone Free Miracle Mask. What long names they have, but this one, again, is one of my favorites, this hair mask, and it's pretty amazing. And yes, my hair is doing really well. Now, I told you all that I've been wearing the wigs because I'm doing daily hair tre treatments in my hair. Actually, my hair is about as long as the wigs that I wear, but I'm just doing lots of um, uh, up styles, up hair styles, protective hair styles, because my hair underwent a traumatic event. We'll get into that later when I do my videos on hair, which probably won't be till sometime next year. But my hair underwent a traumatic event. It's doing so much better. It still has its length, but I, I'm continuing to care for it, condition it, and do my treatments. So lots of Ayurvedic treatments. For those of you who know me personally also, my favorite uh, oil is 100% pure jojoba oil. This is amazing, so good for your hair, your skin, even for your the bed of your nails. It's awesome for your body because this oil is one of the oils that's closest to the oils in our own skin. Also, when I do use my natural hair, and by the way, the only time I use the wigs is when I make the videos. Otherwise, I sport my own natural hair. And I like using organic natural Rajasthani henna. So I'll use this to dye my grays, dye my hair, and it turns the grays a bright orange color, and immediately after I rinse that, I'll use the organic indigo powder, and it makes it a beautiful, a beautiful jet black. And so these are just some of my favorite things. When you're feeling down in the dumps, remember what your favorite things are and use them. By the way, I forgot to bring my golf clubs, but I bought two golf clubs. And golf can be a pretty pricey sport, but I did find this place called Play It Against Sports where I found two golf clubs and they're ping, ping brand. And that's one of the uh, top of the line in golf, okay, uh, as far as golf uh, clubs are concerned. Five dollars each, that's right, five dollars each and they're pinks. Yes, they're used, but until I decide to um, go further in golf, I won't be spending that much money. I won't be investing that much. But for now, the $5 golf clubs are fine. Just two. I'll be going to the driving range just to hit a few balls. And then when I decide to advance, I'll invest in a more pricey set of golf clubs. And they can be pretty, pretty pricey depending on what you decide on. And so let me encourage you, if you're having a hard time getting up, just get up out of the bed, do something. Even if you can't find the strength to leave your own house, do something in your own home. I have my meatloaf mashed potatoes and collard and turnip greens cooking right now, waiting for me. Oh, I'm so excited. And a glass of wine, of course. I haven't decided what kind, but those of you who know me personally know I love a sweet red wine on occasion with my meals. And so, yes, and if you're struggling, if you've been travailing and travailing, if you feel like you're um, you're about to deliver that vision, that dream, and you're having a hard time, go meet up with your girlfriends, with someone who's going through the same thing that you're undergoing, just as Mary did when she was pregnant with Jesus. At that time, just think, she was a single parent mother. So she met up with her relative, Elizabeth, who was also pregnant with, with her baby. And so some versions of the Bible call Elizabeth her cousin, and some say, it's 
that it was actually her aunt's. But nevertheless, she met up with one of her sisters in Christ, put it that way. And thankfully, God has blessed me with so many wonderful sisters in Christ who I love just as I love my own sister when she was alive. So remember, don't cut your girlfriends off. They, whether they meet all of your needs or not, you can have some there for one thing, some there for another, and some there for another. But you don't want to cut your friends off. And they're, they're the wing, they're the wind beneath your wings at times. Just like Sonal Maharelli has been the wind beneath my wings. On a couple of occasions, she's had to blow some wind beneath my wings. And I'm sure you remember that, Sonal. But I love you all. And please, get up out of that bed. Remember what your favorite things are your favorite movies, turn them on and slowly but surely, you know, use your, those emotions, those tears to cry out to the Lord. That's why he created them. Don't medicate that, those feelings. Use them to cry out to the Lord and sure enough, he will respond. I love you all. Peace to you all and have a beautiful day.